Hello there and welcome in this lecture in which I'm going to introduce you to Claude.ai, which is another LLM competing against the others. And pretty much it also has a free and pro version, charging pretty much the same amount, approximately or close to $20 for the pro version. Uh, and so it seems that ChatGPT has set the standard when it comes to how much you pay for these softwares. So it is what it is, but this tool also is pretty good. It is able to generate code super fast, except for it comes with a limit, which I think would be very uh, not, not, not acceptable, especially considering that most of the models that we have explored so far don't have so many limits, uh, as opposed to this one, which only allows you to talk to it for a specific um, uh, number of times. I think about five prompts or something like that is the limit, which is really bad because you have to wait again for hours to be able to send more messages. Uh, it's not so special, I got to tell you, uh, when it comes to the things that it can do in the free version. There's so much hype on what it can do in the pro version. So many people have been debating that this tool is the tool of the future. It can do uh, wonders and so on and so forth. While that may be true, but now let's go ahead and explore the free version of Claude. Let's get right into it. So here I'm inside of Claude and uh, you can see I've already started two conversations there. And if you want to start a new chat, just go ahead and start a new chat. Now we'll start a new chat by uploading an image. That image is going to be that of some stickers. So I'm going to go ahead, take some stickers that I have in my computer, uh, some Etsy stickers, and I'm going to paste them here. And these ones were generated via Gemini. So Gemini is quite good at generating such images. And so what can I help you with this? So I'm going to actually say generate a HTML CSS code, uh, CSS and JavaScript code for a game in which there is a grid, grid of animals and users or the player is then asked to select where a specific animal would be as a question, right? And then I'm going to say, use your creative imagination, use your creative imagination and generate great code for an engaging, engaging game and make it user friendly and use some some good colors and special effects. And so here is going to go ahead and take this. So it's going to take the image. It's going to take the prompt as well. So here it is writing the code. I got to say, it's quite fast when it comes to writing code. It rivals the speed of Gemini, right? Compared to uh, GPT-4, I would say it really rivals the speed of Gemini. Quite close. Not as close, but quite close. So now we found the second fastest tool when it comes to coding and quite accurate at that. So remember CodePen, where we basically were uh, pasting a lot of code? I would go and just make sure I delete these right here because CodePen allows me to play the game once I create it. And this can be embedded on your website pretty easily uh, if you, of course, know how to code. Uh, now I'm going to go here and you can copy the code from here, go back and we can paste it in. So here what I'm showing you, what I tried to show you is both the ability for of Claude to interpret images, not only that, to use that to its advantage to help it create a game from those images. So that's a great thing. And it is also pretty good when it comes to recognition. So if you give it an image, which I have many images, I hope that they can allow us to, uh, to use most of the images, but it can recognize characters. So if you ask it, for example, where is the barbershop in this image? It will tell you there is a barbershop there. Uh, you may ask it, what, what, uh, what light is it? Is it green or red? It can tell you that as well. So it is pretty good. Now, not that uh, the other tools can't do it. ChatGPT4 can do it quite well, but it has been claimed that Claude is pretty special in this regard. But let's go ahead. So this is the animal grid game. Uh, I'm not sure what's the question. Yeah, where is the monkey? I don't know where is the monkey, but let's click and see. All right, check the answer. Wrong. Okay, so we didn't find the monkey. Let's click again, check the answer. Now the raccoon, right? So wrong. So where's the lion? And you got to click. And you got to keep clicking until you get it right. Check, click.
click check click now i don't know if we're ever going to get this right uh, but certainly i'm struggling quite well here so i'm not really able to find where is any animal um, let me click here check the answer click check click so i failed miserably for about 30 times now and still i'm not anywhere near getting my answer uh, but this game works you can see it's quite a fun game it might be a game that will puzzle people's minds and they'll continue to play it for 10 minutes just to find where is the raccoon here where's the monkey where's all of these animals and it is quite good at coding i gotta say that quite fast as well and you can see here that i'm out of free messages which means i will not be able to message it quite yet uh, but the other features of uh, claude is you can click here on this plus icon if you'd like to uh, maybe maybe create a new uh, chat and you can basically rename your chat by clicking here at the top name it whatever it is that you want and this one is empty you can always go back to open the menu in which case it will take you back and you can see the conversations here that we had uh, the previous one wasn't named grill this one was named by default so they name conversations by default claude does not generate any images whatsoever so you gotta know that this uh, this is a pretty interesting piece of information and their free version has a very big limit okay and it's limited to only specific countries now there are certain certain countries that are not allowed to use claude okay so if you're from sp specific countries you might not be allowed to access this but certainly here they also have this section for settings so you can always go to settings right here click on account settings in which case you can ask it to uh, you can change your name. What would you like it to call you? I like it to call me, in this instance, boss, because I think that's pretty cool. Uh, and then you can control the appearance. If you want to go dark, you can go dark uh, to protect your eyes and so on and so forth. And it also has the ability to uh, basically give you up-to-date information from uh, the web. So it is not bad in that regard, but it is really bad, in my opinion, when it comes to the amount of prompts that you are allowed because especially that other tools allow us all the freedom to use their tools uh, for so much more than claude but this is claude i hope you liked it and i'll see you next module